It's a rainy and grungy day here at Muddy Hard Crash Field in Micro Hard, Washington. It's a perfect sloppy stage for some NFL football or a tribute to Woodstock 94. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Are you ready for some NFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Mutants, I'd like the fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho-ho! Va-va-va-boom! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. He's not going down. First and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And that's how you run the football. First down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not gonna dance now. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in out of space. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Warp speed, engage! And he's off to the races! Look at that little mutant run! Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim! Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score! <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. 
kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy Just follow the screens, Bricks. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Thanks, Quinn. Oh, and the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First and ten. He is fighting for every yard. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. The 
Roid Rage Dirty Trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical of all MFL players, but this is different. <laughs> Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks though. <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Murphy Brown! What? Uh, I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Hot, hot one, hot. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The twenty. The ten. He scores. Now there are 
are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Wow, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one, hot two. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blast for me. He had it for a second there. Third down and eight. Oh, I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitch? Touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving a massage while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. up about six on the play. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Yeah, timeouts are kind of like you know, Grim, you got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Damn, you're going to hit a guy that hard. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by 
Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Come on, jeez, Grim. I hope someone ties them soon. They're going to play football. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that. Come on, <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, man, he just got skewered by those spikes. That was bloody and disgusting. Hey, anyone in the mood for steak kebab? Make mine rare. And it's first and ten. threatened to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Pass and catch for three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. Rage. How do you like your brains? Scramble to pride. One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Ah, yes. You can tell this one must have gestated and burst forth from the chest of a wonderful chorus dancer. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. That's a four-yard game. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two. Now, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down, and the punter is warming up. You've got to avoid those spikes, or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chummy kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. about seven yards on that run. Second and three. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot 
A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing first down of seven hot, hot one hot two and he laterals at the last second nifty move that's a six yard gain second down and two hot one hot two Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dense, Grim. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down in a mile. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Come on, Grim, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Second down in a mile. Nice pick up for six yards. We're tying up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and nine.
First and ten. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. for no gain then it's not really a run is it third and four and the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the and then on sportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at speedy's drive through funeral parlor service located just off the beltway exit five <laughs> The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Third and two. And that player, and that's just a great run for a touchdown. And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas, and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think it is stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense goes a sticky ball. Uh oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He turned into a mutant fireball with that play on dirty trick. right now with their third consecutive first down. 
And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. Bertrand. He refuses to go down. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Hot one, hot two. A pickup of about three on that play. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. Third down and a pussy here. Hot one, hot two. Hot two. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy to the speed feet, Grim. He's running from his name and it's clear. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. my kneecaps my loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time Graham and it's first the timeout is called by the quarterback they have one left and the offense goes into the hurry up formation to try to conserve time oh that was a big hit Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. With moves like 
like that, you know he's got a screw loose. Hey, can we get a handyman out there? Somebody? Drill? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The onside kick's the desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he does it, they're going to split his skull wide open. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop. From Taco. The mutilators were certainly mutilated and go home losers. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.